is everyone? Great. Again, thank you for coming out and thank you for Norfolk Day for having us. My name is Mikey as we are called the Flying High Dogs. I'm here today with my four dogs. All four dogs are my pets. All four dogs are Border Collies. They're right, Bullet, come here. They're regular pets at home, just like yours. The dog that you see right here, her name is Bullet. Everyone say hi to Bullet. Hi, Bullet. Bullet used to be one of the best Frisbee dogs on the planet. As a matter of fact, the last time I competed nine years ago, she actually beat the current world champion at the point. But she can no longer catch a Frisbee anymore. She had surgery on her eyes a little over a year ago. She's about 80% blind. So what I did to get her exercise, I put some bells on the back of a Frisbee. So she can hear them land, watch. She can hear them land, but she won't catch it. Oh, she caught it! She hasn't done that in over a year. So that's a treat. Well, anyway, thanks for having us. Again, please go to my website, which is called what? FlyingHighDogs.com. There's lots of cool pictures on there. Tells you a little bit more about what we do and where we go. If anyone gets any good pictures or if you have any questions, my email address is on my website. Again, FlyingHighDogs.com. Also, kids, if you want me to go to your school, make sure you grab one of my cards before you leave. Give it to your teachers and tell them you want us to come to your school or your summer camp. Okay, like I said, I'm here with my four dogs. I started out doing this about 20-something years ago when I first started out. I just competed. When I competed, I got real good. I made it to the world finals many times. Still hold world record for the highest scoring competition. But I no longer compete because I do about 150 shows a year. Uh, I've done in the past, I've done sporting events, I've done half times for the NFL, including the Patriots, the NBA, minor league baseball, major league soccer, and dual lacrosse, and I've also been on the animal plane at once. They just have one rule, everyone stay behind the cones. Now if by any chance, come here bullet, bullet. Oh, she smells another dog over there. Now if by any chance the frisbee goes on the other side of the cones, what else is going to go on the other side of the cones? The dog, watch out, they'll go right around you. Bullet found a friend here. All right, we're gonna say hi to Bullet. We're gonna let her, let her stay out. Cause she's very well behaved, so we'll tie her up. She doesn't have to go in the van, and then we'll bring on our next dog. Before we get going, come on, Bullet. Come here, Bullet. Come here. She doesn't want to come off the field. Come here, Bullet. I got a treat for you, Bullet. You want a treat? I got a treat for you. Bullet! Come on, we gotta go. I'll bring out the other dog. Come on, Bullet! Bullet, come here. Come here. Come here. You oh, rascal. Come here. Come here. Come here. Want a treat? Have a treat. She wants to play frisbee. All right. We're going to say goodbye to Bullet. Bye. 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 He volunteers it when I hold her during the show. Bye. Doesn't have to be an adult, though. If she gets too rambunctious, let me know. I can tie her up over there. Before we get going, I need six volunteers to be my helpers for the entire show. Now, if I pick you, stay right where you are. We'll get two from this end. How about you two? Two from the middle. How about you two? And two from down this end. How about you two? Well, help us all. Stay right where you are. Go sit back where you were. What I'm gonna, let me tell you what your job is. I'm gonna be switching my dogs back and forth to the van because it's nice and air conditioned in there. So I'm gonna rot rotate my four dogs. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna call you guys out about five or six times. So every time I say I need my helpers, what I need you to do is go to the entire field, collect all of the Frisbees, and just put them down anywhere on the ground right next to this blue bag, and then go sit back down, except for the very first time you come out. I want you to stay out here because you are gonna make that dog, right there, do that trick. You want to see that dog now? Everyone say hi to Maui. Come on, Maui. Over here, buddy. Now, Maui's an eight-year-old border collie. All four dogs that you see here today are actually related. They're all cousins. Now, I go all throughout New England sometimes, um, Pennsylvania and New York. And my dogs are very, 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 very quiet in the car. Right now they're barking in the car. Why are they barking? Because they want to come out and play. And when I'm driving, they absolutely love the car, especially Maui. Maui loves to go for a ride. Want to go for a spin, Maui? Want to go for a spin? Let's go for a spin, Maui. Oh, hang on. Let's go for a spin. Who here thinks that Maui can do a backflip? Who thinks that Maui can do a backflip and catch a frisbee at the same time? Do you guys want to see some cool backflips? Yes! Oh, he didn't hear you. You guys want to see some cool backflips? Yes! Well, 
louder. You guys want to see some cool backflips? Yeah! Before you do that, kids, I'm giving you all a homework assignment for the end of the show because I get a new dog about every three years. So every new dog needs a what? A name. So I'm looking for a really unique pet name. So start thinking of a cool name. All right, Maui, backflip time, buddy. Are you ready, Maui? One, two, three, Maui! There you go. Nice job, Maui. Do it again. Come on, Maui. Nice job. Do it again. Come on, Maui. Got to go a little higher, buddy. There you go, Maui. Couple more. Couple more, buddy. Maui. He's a rascal. Couple more. Couple more. Come on, Maui. Maui. Very rarely does he get two. But one in every ten times. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, almost. Let's hear from Maui. Can I have one brave volunteer for my next stunt? Let me tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to throw the frisbee that way. Maui's going to catch it. He's going to come bombing back at about 25 miles per hour. He's going to jump over me first, and then you. So if he doesn't land on someone, he's going to land on not me. He's going to land on who? You. Who's brave? Who has good health insurance here? Me. This guy does. Come on out here, yeah? Are you sure? Because I've been sent to the hospital twice. Guess by which dog? This one. Well, he's never landed on anyone. He's grazed me a couple times, but he's never landed on anyone. Come over here, brave guy. What's your name? Alex, come over here. Turn around. Face the crowd. We're going to get down on our knees and our elbows. And just keep your head down. You sure you want to do this? All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Maui! Maui! Go get it this time. Go, go. All right, here he comes, Alex. Stay down. Put your head down. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. I'm going to have him do it one more time, Alex. Go, Maui. Go. Did he, did he catch you? Maui! Go! Maui! I'm not kidding. Go! All right, here he comes one more time. Please don't land on Alex. All right, let's hear from Alex. Let's hear from Maui. Cabinet Six Helpers, come on out. Collect the Frisbees. Helpers, stay out here this one time, one time only. Stay out here this one time, one time only. Because we're going to have our competition. We're going to have our Norfolk Dog Olympics. We're going to get all the Frisbees. And audience, pay attention because you, oh, help her, stay out here. This Help her, come on out here. Stay out here because you are all the judges. My helpers, you are all the participants. Come over here, make a straight line behind me. Facing this way. You are going to make Maui do that. How are you going to make Maui do that? I'm going to show you. Come here, Maui. The most important thing you need to do is to put the Frisbee in the right spot. All you need to do is put the frisbee right above Maui's head, vertically and slightly behind him. So if Maui wants to catch the frisbee, he needs to do what? Jump. The frisbee's vertical, so he has to turn his head. Once he turns his head, the rest of his body follows. So watch where I put the frisbee. One more time. Now, has anyone ever been in the Olympics before? You have. Which Olympics? Has anyone ever had a real gold medal? You have? Well, this is 14 karat plastic. <laughs> That's where I bought it from. The dollar store. All right, everyone do one turn to do that trick, and then go to the end of the line. You are up first, young lady. What's your name? Kanye. Hanya. I'm sorry. Hanya, there's a good backflip. Let's hear for Hanya. I right, go to the end of the line. And what's your name? Searsha. Good luck, Searsha. All right, let's hear for Searsha. Nice job, hon. What's your name? Allie. Good luck, Allie. There's a good bad flip. Let's hear for Allie. And what's your name? Brady. Tom. You named after Tom Brady. He might be. Whoop, try it one more time. A little, a little higher, Brady. One more time, Brady. Let's hear for Brady. And what's your name? Daniel, good luck, Daniel. Let's hear for Daniel. What's your name? Ava? Good luck, Ava. Let's hear for Ava. Go to the end of the line. And our final contestant, what's your name? Give her name? Noah. How old are you, Noah? 
Three? All right, I've never had a three-year-old win before, so good luck, Noah. Let's hear for Noah. Everyone turn around, face the crowd. I need to put Maui on his leash because there's lots of food here. And this is the time of show where Maui will wander into the stands. And when I do lots of fairs, Maui runs into the stands and eats food out of people's hands. So. All right, turn around, face the crowd. I'm going to point to each contestant when I point to the one that you think is worthy of the gold medal. Make as much noise as possible. How about this young man? How about this young lady? How about this young lady? How about this young lady? How about this young man? How about this young man? And our final contestant. That was tough, but I'm gonna say, what's your name? Sersha. On the count of three, let's hear for Sersha. Ready? One, two, three. Let's hear for all our contestants. Now, Sersha, you get to judge the next contest in about five minutes. All right? You can pat him real quick. Go ahead. All right, helpers, go sit back down. And we'll bring Maui, put Maui away. We'll bring on our newest dog. Now, Maui is eight years old. This dog just turned two. Come on, Maui, get in the cage. Please, I get to judge. I'm that excited. And this dog still thinks he's a puppy. He acts like a puppy. His name is Mojo. Now, Mojo here is a two-year-old. Whoops, I locked the door. Red Merle Border Collie. Whoops, he's in the wrong door. I forgot what door he's in. Mojo is a two-year-old Red Merle Border Collie. And Mojo can really, really, really jump. But I forgot to do the first throw of the day. So who, won with, who wants the first throw of the day to Mojo here? Does anyone have a birthday today, June 1st? Is anyone's birthday today? Whose birthday's tomorrow? Come over here. Are you guys twins? What's your name? Obviously, she's your sister. Yeah, but she's not a twin. So what's your name? Maui? Mallory, what's your name? Patrick, on the count of three, everyone say happy birthday. Ready, one, two, three. Happy birthday! We have a co-first throw of the day to Mojo here. So you go first, young man. Nice throw, buddy, nice throw into the, you lost my dog, <laughs> you lost him, there he comes, all right, hon, you got the next first throw, throw it in there. try one more time, you hit your little brother, bigger brother, let's hear it, nice job, all right, you guys can go sit back down, now I'm going to tell you a little story here about Mojo, now there are lots of good dogs, and pounds, or lots of good border collies and pounds because people get these dogs. It's not a good recommendation for your first dog. People get these dogs not realizing that a border collie needs to exercise every day. They're what you call a working breed dog. They're considered one of the most intelligent dogs. Although I don't know so much here with Mojo. But, uh, but the reason why I use border collies is three reasons actually. One, they have a long nose. Two, they're athletic. And three, they're the most intelligent dogs, so it makes it easier for them to learn tricks. But like I said, there are a lot of good Border Collies and Pounds because people get these dogs, they don't exercise them, and if you don't exercise a Border Collie, he's going to exercise himself like ripping your couch apart. Are you ready, Mojo? You want to see, see some of Mojo's tricks? Yeah! I'm going to tell you a little story about Mojo. Now, Mojo, like I said, if he doesn't get out to play every day, he gets really, really, really mad. If he doesn't get out to play every single day, He's so mad that he is up in arms. He doesn't get out every single day. He drives me crazy. He's always on my back. Let's keep the show rolling. Put him up. High five. High five. Let's dance around a little bit. Let's do a little dance, Mojo. Let's do a little dance. Keep dancing. Let's show him the weave. 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 Who wants to see Mojo jump through a hoop? They said the twins were going to bring the hoop, so where's the hoop? Oh, there's no hoop. How's Mojo going to jump through a hoop? I'll show you how. Ready, Mojo? Come on, jump through the hoop. One more time, Mojo. Let's hear from Mojo. All right. Now, Mojo's been in a little bit of a funk lately. I'm supposed to throw the frisbee back this way, back that way. But half the time, he just stands there and watches it. So we're working out some of the kinks here. The mojo can really, 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 really jump. 
So that's my goal here, is just to get Mojo to jump really high. Watch, he will not catch the first frisbee I throw to him. Are you ready, Mojo? Are you ready? He doesn't look ready. Ready, go! Mojo, go this way! Mojo, go that way! Mojo! Come on, Mojo, that's it! Come on, Mojo, go, go, go! That's it, Mojo, get it! Oh, you wanna go this way, Gad? That's it, Mojo, come on! Come on, Mojo! Where are you? This way? We're going this way, Mojo. You wanna go this way? All right, we'll go that way. Which way you wanna go? Go! Mojo, get it! Mojo, get it! That's it, Mojo, get it! That's it, Mojo, get it! At least he's jumping for you guys. That's it, Mojo, get it! Mojo! Go! Mojo! You're driving me crazy. Ready? Go! You wanna go this way? No, we're gonna go this way. You wanna go this way? Go that way! Which way you wanna go? That's it, Mojo, good jump. Last one, Mojo, get it! You're killing me, Mojo. Last one! Last one! Get it! Let's hear from Mojo anyway. He gave you some good jumps, though. Which is good. Helpers, come on out here, collect the frisbees! The helpers are here! And then go sit back down after you collect the frisbees. While they're doing that, I need four adult, adult, adult volunteers. You have to be an adult, an adult. Yes. Young lady yes. right there, yes. come on out. Yes. Young man right there, young lady right there. I need one more adult, young lady right there. Come on out here. Where is my gold medal winner? Come here, you have a job. You are the judge of this contest here. Oh. Here, hold on to this gold, I forgot your name again already. Searsha? Searsha, stand right where I am facing this way. I need two adults, back up a couple feet. I need to go right behind the frisbees. I need two adults to Searsha's left, two to Searsha's right in a straight line, about arm length apart. Yep, here is Searsha, hold on to this. Now the winner of this next gold medal will be the first adult to get Mojo here to catch a frisbee throwing in this direction. Easy, right? No! Because when Shirsa says go, you, audience, I need you, I need your help to count to 15 as loud as you can. While you're counting to 15, you are spinning around 15 times. Then you can throw a frisbee. Now if Mojo doesn't catch your first frisbee, this is important, pay attention, go to the pile, pick up another frisbee, you must spin around an additional five times before you can throw another frisbee. He doesn't catch your second frisbee. Go to the pile again, spin around five more times. Keep this up until one of three things happens. One, Mojo catches a frisbee, and we have a winner. Two, we run out of frisbees. Well, who can guess the third one that might happen? Who said throw up? Come on out here. They could throw up! And they all look like they've been drinking since about nine in this morning, so it's a good possibility. Come on over here. I have a very special job for you. What's your name? Gretchen, where are you from? Gretchen from Franklin. When they throw up, Gretchen from Franklin's gonna clean it up. I'm only kidding. You wanna throw to Mojo. Good throw. And a good catch. Very good. Come here, Mojo. All right, sis. Mojo. Oh, Mojo. Over here, buddy. Many distractions for him. All right, sis, on the count of three, say go. Ready? One, two, three. One. Help me count. Two. Three, faster, faster. Six, seven, faster. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You're ready to throw frisbee. Oh, you do not catch it. Do not catch it. This woman hasn't thrown hers yet. Oh, spin around five more times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we dropped it. Pick up another frisbee. Spin around five more times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, good drop, Mojo. Oh, pick up another frisbee. Spin around five more times. One, two, three, four, five. He knows he caught him. Come here, Mojo. <laughs> you have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Come over here, Mojo. Oh, 
<laughs> the mojo here is very friendly towards other dogs. The next dog that I bring out, when I bring him out, I'm going to ask you to move back. He's very dog aggressive, my fault, because when that dog was a puppy, I did not socialize him with other dogs, but very good with people, but not with other. Okay. What's your name? Please give Natalie her medal. Oh, you won them. I'm sorry. On the town of three, let's hear from Natalie. Ready? One, two, three. Susan. Let's hear for Susan. One, two, three. Last night. All right, you guys can go sit down. Thank you for participating. You can pat him up. Now, and if there are any other dogs, if this dog spots your dog, he'll charge him, but he won't bite. I hope not. He's never bitten another dog, so that's why I ask if anyone has a dog just to step back. And if by any chance he does see your dog, he will charge him. We're going to say goodbye to Mojo. Mojo will not be back out. And we're going to bring on our next dog. Now someone has to do the first throw of the day to Chaos over here. Everyone say hi to Chaos. We put him on his leash. First throw of the day to Chaos. Whoever can answer this question correctly. Now, I, like I said, all four of my dogs come from the same breeder in Tennessee. All four dogs are cousins. But raise your hand if you can tell me what's the first place you should go to look for a dog who thinks they know. Go right there in the blue. Yes. Right here. You. Yeah. The vet. No. You know, right? The dog shelter. Come on out here. There are lots of good dogs in dog shelters. I only use Border Collies because I need to make sure I have a dog that can catch a frisbee. But I have friends all over the country who do this. Some of them have 17 dogs. And... Come here. What's your name? Isabella, wave the frisbee in this direction and give it a throw. Let's hear for Isabella. Nice job, Isabella. Isabella, who holds the world record for being the fastest human being on the planet? Usain Bolt. Come here. Usain Bolt at 29.5 miles per hour. Who do you think is faster, Usain Bolt or Chaos here? Chaos is the fastest clock border collie at 35 miles per hour. So in a minute here, we're going to get him to go super, super fast. You can go sit down. Let's hear it. Before we do that, how many people have a dog at home? I'm going to take one brief minute to show you how to get your dog, or how I do it, to get my dog to catch a frisbee. Very important, keep your training session short, no more than five minutes. You can practice many times a day, but you want to keep it fun for the dog. And number two, you can practice, like I said, a million times a day. Number two, I don't use treats, I use praise as my reward. So what I do, I roll the ball. When the dog brings the ball back eventually, I say, come here. I say, good dog, good dog. Dogs respond to your tone of voice and give him, a, give him a pet. Do not pull a frisbee from his mouth so he'll think it's a game of tug of war. Wait till he drops it again, praise him, say good dog, good dog. His reward is what? Another tennis ball. So from there, what I do, I go outside, I roll the frisbee as if it's a tennis ball. Hopefully he'll do that. Then keep your first throw short. And as we go longer, you guys wanna see him go super, super fast? All right, faster than the cars in the street. What's the speed limit out in that street? 30? All right, we'll go faster than 30, right? I'll try to. Ready? Go. Oh, not quite there. Ready? Come on, Chaos. Go, 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 go. There you go. This 30 plus. Couple more. Couple more. Two more, buddy. Two more. Go. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Go, 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 go. Pretty good. One more gold medal. If you are a child, 12 or under, and have not thrown a frisbee, and think that they can throw the frisbee really far, raise your hand. I need 10 participants. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll do 12. Yep, come on out here. Oh, oh, don't pick up the frisbee. What I need you to do, come over here, stand right here. Make a straight line behind me. When it's your turn, walk over to this rope. From behind this rope, the leash. I'm going to hand you a frisbee. Very important, you wave the frisbee so the dog sees it, then give it a throw in that direction. After your throw, go sit down. Unless I tell you to stay out here. Now you are up first. Come on over here. What's your name? Leanne, wave it so he sees it and give it a throw. Good throw, Leanne. Oh, this will be tough to beat if he catches it. Leanne, stand right over here. This is the leader circle. Now, we in, you stay there and let, until someone can throw further than you. So you're in the lead. What's your name? Chloe, good luck, Chloe. 
Chloe! Into the crowd! Let's hear it for Chloe! All right, you can go sit down, Chloe. Nice job. What's your name? Kristoff. Good luck, buddy. Ooh, big throw, big throw. Nice high throw. Into the forest. What's your name? AJ. Good luck, AJ. Ooh, AJ. This will take the lead if he catches it. Oh, AJ. He would have caught it. Let's hear for AJ anyway. If a forest wasn't over there, he would have caught it. What's your name? Maisie. Good luck, Maisie. Maisie. I'm not a dog. Try it again. Ooh, Maisie. A good catch and a good throw, but not quite as far as her. Oh, I forgot your name already. Leanne, I won't forget now. What's your name? Wyatt, good luck, Wyatt. Wyatt, Wyatt, a good throw. And a good catch, but not quite as far as Leanne's. Let's hear for Wyatt. We're down to our final four. What's your name? Sean, what happened to your teeth? You a hockey player? You play for the Bruins? All right, good luck, Sean. Oh, Sean, Sean, Sean. Oh, nice. Nice try, let's hear for Sean. What's your name? Andrew, good luck, Andrew. Andrew, big throw into the woods. <laughs> Let's hear for Andrew. <laughs> Looks like a scene from The Lion King. Who's excited to see the new Lion King this, this year? I'm an adult and I, I'm gonna go the first day. What's your name? Tess? Good luck, Tess. Tess, what a nice throw. Off the speaker. Let's hear for Tess. <laughs> and what's your name? Danny, good luck, Danny. Let's watch out for this guy behind you now. Oh, good one, good one. But not quite as far as Leanne's. And our last contestant, probably our youngest, what's your name? How old are you? Four and a half. Ooh, the trick throw, an overhand wrist flip. That's what we call it. But not a catch. On the count of three, let's hear it for Leanne. Ready, one, two, three. Now kids, did I, I forgot. Did I give you a homework assignment for the end of the show? I didn't. Well, I get a new dog about every three years, so every new dog needs a what? Name. name. So who has a cool name for my next dog? I'll start over here. Where did he go? Into the forest? All right. He's, he's part of the next act, but I have, you have to give him a rest here. He'll come out once I bring the next dog out. So what's your name for my next dog? Bruno. Twix. Speedy. What's that? Ruff, good one. Yes. Wolf? Wolf. I used to have a dog named Wolf. Mr. Cool, that's me. Yes. Bozo, that's my ex-wife. Yes. Spike. Flash. Neptune. Charlotte, is that your name? No. Brady. The Dancers. Shocker, yes. Shazam! Good one. Lily. Bandit. Crypto. Spirit. Ella. Lightning. What's that? Danger? Good one. Pounce. A dog. Any others? Flash. Good ones. All right. Do you guys want to see a battle of the dogs? All right, before I bring my... Actually, we'll, um, he's over there. Who's rooting for the dog that's in the forest? Oh, no one's rooting for you. How many people are rooting for Maui? Whichever dog catches the most frisbees at the long distance will be the winner. I'm gonna throw this way, because I don't know, I did this two years ago here, and the dogs did a tug of war and they ended up in the street. So I'm gonna throw the frisbees this way. Just to be in the safe side. Are you ready? Now we drop it. Go! There's one for Maui. Come on, Chaos, catch up. This one for Chaos. Drop it. Drop Maui, Maui. Drop that frisbee, go! There's two for Maui. Hey, Chaos, go. Bad throw, my bad. My bad. Come on, Chaos. Come on, Chaos. Go, 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 go. There's two for Chaos. We're tied at two, so we need a tiebreaker. But I'm not going to throw it. One of you guys is going to throw it. Raise your hand if anyone is wearing anything with a dog on their shirt. 
or any part of the clothing. Anyone wearing anything with a dog? All right, come on over here. Where's your dog? Dog slippers. Excellent. What's your name? Lily, wave it so they see it. We're going to wait till Mojo drops it. Maui. Wave it so they see it and give it a throw that way. Lily! Good throw! Let's hear for Lily! All right, we're going to put Maui away. Come on, Maui. Maui, come here. Come here, Maui. Maui, come. Drop that frisbee. Drop it. Drop that frisbee. Drop it. Drop. We're going to say goodbye to Maui. Ugh. We'll keep chaos out here. Can I have my helpers collect the frisbees one last time? While they're doing it, I'll take one minute. If anyone has any questions on anything, one minute while we give chaos a little break here, and we'll finish the show off with chaos. The K anyone have any questions on anything? You can pat them all. He's out here. Yes. How do I train my dogs? I take them out for at least 10 minutes every day to get them some exercise. I live on the beach, right over there, so I usually can take them on the beach. You have a question? Yes. Grammy has to go back. What if your dog is really old? Well, not all dogs. I meant to catch a frisbee, but you can still throw a ball to them, right? Last question. Which one was my first dog? The dog right there named Bullet. All right, we're going to end the show with one last throw. But before we do that, can we have one big round of applause for Norfolk Day? Can we have one big round of applause for my dogs? And one big round of applause for you guys. Last throw of the day. Whoever can answer this question correctly, raise your hand if you can guess how old I am and you can have the last throw of the day if you guess correctly. Yes? No. No. No! 25, come on out here. Where's your mother or father? Are they here? Mindy, that's all right. This is a good kid you raised here. Come on over here. She's not even paying attention. Our hockey player here gets the last show of the day. 25, guess how old my son is at home? He's 20. That's why I had my son, I had my son when I was five years old. That's a good trick, huh? All right, what's your name again? Sean, last throw of the day, make it a good one. Good throw, let's hear it for Sean! All right, thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Finally, no rain.